Hi everyone. My name is Chelsea and today we're going to be doing a story about kindness and friendship. Our story is called The Mouse and the Buddha. There once was a mouse who lived high in the mountains in India. The mouse was called Sisi. This is Tibetan for mouse. He was a hungry little mouse. One night, he sneaked past the sleeping children and entered the temple where the big gold Buddha sat. In front of the Buddha was a feast for a king. There were oranges, chocolates, and butter sculptures that looked like delicate flowers. There were cookies, candies, and beautifully baked pastries in the shape of crescent moons. Cece sat and ate the treats and watched the candles and incense burn to nothing but stubs and ash. Oh, the Buddha loved the mouse's company. While the mouse ate, the Buddha spoke softly to the hungry creature and lovingly shared his wisdom. He said, we all live under the same bright sun. Be kind to others. Be forgiving. Be patient. Have compassion for those less fortunate than you. Do not forget to love one another. This is a good way to live your life. As the Buddha spoke, Sisi thought about his family and friends and even the strangers he encountered on the street. The very next day, he began to live the life the Buddha spoke of. He planted a garden for a friend. He helped older mice get to the market for their bread and cheese. He visited those who were lonely and sick. Cece was kind to everyone he met that day, even a cat. The next night, Cece visited the temple again. As he ate, he told the Buddha all he had learned that day. When he was full and sleepy, Cece licked the chocolate from his paws, wiped the pastry crumbs from his mouth, and quietly thanked the Buddha. Before Cece left the temple, he scratched the Buddha on his big belly to make him laugh. Oh, what a joyous laugh it was. It rang through all of the great mountains and all over the great oceans. Later, as the little mouse drifted off to sleep, whiskers twitching, he thought about the things the big gold Buddha had shared with him. Cece liked one message the most. Do not forget to love one another, he whispered into the night, and he fell asleep. And that is the end of our story. So here are my questions for you today to talk about with your family. What pieces of wisdom did the Buddha share with the mouse? What did the mouse do after hearing the Buddha's wisdom? Remember, did he just sit there and go, oh, okay, or did he actually do something? How did the mouse show his appreciation to the Buddha that evening? What piece of wisdom did the mouse like the most and whisper as he fell asleep? Was there one of the pieces of wisdom that you liked the most? Something that you remember from the story? All right, well, it's time for our meditation now. So find a comfortable spot, whether you're sitting down or if you're laying down, get comfortable. And we'll start with our bell. All right, you ready? Here we go. Close your eyes and take some deep breaths in and out. It's nighttime and you are standing beneath the most beautiful tree you have ever seen. Its leaves are vivid blue and shaped like stars. And from its branches hang tiny 
shining silver colored fruits. You pick one of the fruits from the branches. It smells more delicious than mangoes, peaches, or strawberries. And you take another deep breath to inhale its scent once more. As you gaze up at the tree, you can see that brightly colored pieces of cloth have been tied to the branches and that a message is printed on each piece of cloth. You can't quite reach the pieces of cloth, so you climb up a lower branch of the tree until you're sitting safely and comfortably. You carefully untie the piece of cloth and read the message. It says, may you be well, may you be happy. You close your eyes and breathe deeply as you think about the message. You sense a deep warmth in your chest like a golden sun, and you can feel its radiance spreading out around you along all the branches of the tree to the very tips of the leaves. You retie the cloth to the tree branch and climb a little higher up among the branches until you find another message. This time, the message says, May your best friend be well. May your best friend be happy. You picture your best friend in your mind's eye and focus all your attention on them. You breathe deeply. And the same golden radiance you felt before now spreads out to encircle your friend so that they are smiling back at you. You climb still higher in the tree and read the next message. This time the message says, may the person that you like the least be well. May they be happy. The image of this person comes before you and they are smiling too. You realize that this is a person you care about and you're glad that they are happy as well. You reach the highest point of the tree and the final message, it reads, may all beings be well. May all beings be happy. You look around you and see the deep, dense forest lying beneath you. All of the trees are rich with beautiful silver fruits that shine in the moonlight. You breathe deeply, taking in the wonderful fragrance of the fruit hanging from every branch. You're glad to see so much beauty before you for every living thing to share. Then you carefully climb back down until you're safely on the ground once more. Now let's listen to our bell as we start coming back. And that is the end of our time together today. Thank you for joining me.